Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my experience after using a couple of Huawei devices. And today's video is more about exploring how or what are the capabilities or possibilities when you have each of your every single device working together in one entire ecosystem. Uh, before I begin the video, of course, I have to share with you what kind of devices I'm going to be sharing today. Uh, I'm not going to go into each device individually, but we're going to see how these devices actually work together uh, you know, to create that really seamless experience. It's actually very, very interesting here. So we're going to start off very first and foremost with the laptop. Now I do have the Huawei MateBook B15. In terms of the smartphone, I'm going to be using my Huawei P50 Pro. Of course, the Huawei Mate XS2 is also going to be making a very special appearance. Moving on, we also have the uh, Huawei's Bluetooth speaker. I think this is called the Sound Joy, a very cool speaker here. We also have a tablet in the form of the Mate Pad. Now this is the 2022 version and I'm going to be talking a little bit more about this. And last but not least, I also have the printer, the Huawei Pixlab 1, which I can't really carry and show in front of the camera. So those are the different devices that we have today. Trust me guys, it's going to be a very fun one. So stick with me through the end. And even if you're not using a Huawei device, at least uh, let's check out how these devices, you know, if other brands are able to do something like this, how everything works together is going to be a super fun experience. Okay, first things first, uh, we're going to talk about how the laptop actually works together with something like your smartphone. That's the most basic thing that we have today. So this is what Huawei calls the super device. Now, whenever I connect my phone to the laptop itself, uh, right away, I'm able to do multi-screen collaboration. And what this means is basically, I can drag and drop my files very easily between the smartphone to the laptop. For instance, maybe even using documents and all that. And it's very convenient because I can just drag and drop the photos and put it in directly into the document. Super easy. Apart from that, it's also good to see that because uh, we, our phone is already con connected to the laptop. Whenever I receive a call, I do not actually have to pick up my phone. I can answer it directly on the laptop itself, which is perfectly seamless for my entire workflow. Now, moving on to something even more interesting. Uh, this is where I think is the best use case for boosted productivity. And that's to do with the uh, Huawei Mate Pad. Now, this Mate Pad alone itself is a very, uh, a very good productivity machine. Uh, you have this keyboard, you have the pen, and you can do a lot of stuff on the tablet itself. But what happens when you actually pair the tablet together with the laptop. Now this is where the magic happens. So there are three different modes or three different things that you can do uh, with this kind of connectivity. First up, we're going to talk a bit about the mirror kind of mode, mirror mode. So this is very straightforward and you know, just like the name suggests, once the tablet is connected to the laptop, the tablet itself can be used as an extended display. So whatever you are seeing on your main laptop, this is where you can also see it mirrored directly onto the main pad. Well, for instance, if you are doing a kind of drawing or if you are doing all this kind of editing, uh, what you can do is use the tablet itself as a sketch pad together with the pen and you will actually be able to draw and sketch and even edit stuff directly on your laptop by using the sketch pad. Now, the second thing that you can do here is the extended mode. Now, what does this mean? So again, just like an external display, you now have two displays for your workflow. So for instance, if I have my PowerPoint already on the laptop itself, I want to shift it to the left. I can just shift it very easily to the tablet by just dragging the window directly across. Once I've done that, I can open another document file, a Word document for instance, so I can work on two different kind of documents at the same time. Now, if you're just thinking that the tablet itself is just an extended display, you are actually wrong here. Now, apart from being an extended display, you can actually still interact with the tablet. So what this means is you actually have a fully functioning Windows machine running on the MatePad tablet. So that's really cool. You can you know, type the start button. You can actually go through the files directly on the PowerPoint file over there. So it's very cool. You have two individually working machines that is actually powered by your laptop, the MatePad D15. So very awesome stuff there. I think that is my personal favorite feature for this kind of, you know, super device kind of thing. Now, the third thing you're going to check out here is actually in terms of how the smartphone interacts together with the tablet. All right. Now, once I got my P50 Pro connected with the Mate Pad, again, I was able to carry out the multi-screen collaboration. That means that I can transfer files from the tablet to the phone right away, just drag and drop, super easy. But the second thing, which is much more useful here is that, you know, you're actually able to mirror the display of your phone onto the tablet. So how this works is, for instance, if you are playing a game on your smartphone, but you want to play on a larger screen. I mean, this happens all the time, right? So for instance, I did try out Mobile Legends. The latency was not that high and was surprisingly playable. But once I was able to mirror my Mobile Legends onto the tablet, at that point, I could actually game on a much larger screen, which made the entire experience even more immersive. So that's really cool between the smartphone and the tablet. All right, so now we have done talking about the computer, the laptop, 
desktop and of course the smartphone we're going to go into something a little bit more fun here and let's talk a little bit about the speakers now like i mentioned earlier on this is the uh, sound joy speaker and this is actually super cool if you take a look at the the device itself we do have a nfc button of some sort over here how you connect the device the smartphone to this speaker is super simple just like before it has always been just a touch of an nfc button to actually get both devices connected very easy now the second thing here is that you can actually combine two individual speakers to create a stereo speaker setup super awesome there uh, once how you do it is actually very very strange i would say you have to shake both of these uh, speakers to actually get that connection established between both speakers but once that is done you have an awesome sounding stereo speaker experience it's super immersive the sound is awesome you have great bass a very good sound here coming from the sound joy now of course you see that this is a pretty rugged looking uh, speaker here and that means you can bring it outdoors you know bring it to parties and all that so it's a very fun experience uh, using this speaker the sound joy here especially if you have two to create that you know overall stereo speaker experience now moving on to the final one this is where i'm going to talk a little bit about that printer now printer wise again you know have you ever had documents in your phone or maybe in your tablet that you just wanted to print with a touch well now it can happen with huawei's p50 pro as well as the huawei pixlab x1 pixlab one if i'm not mistaken yep so all you need to do is just launch the document the pdf file or whatnot on your phone move on to the printer tap it on that black display and automatically right away the printer will be able to receive the signal and it will start printing your document so very very fast and easy there i think this is probably the most easiest way of printing a document that i've ever experienced in my life literally just connect the phone first you know get the document launched on your app and then tap it on the printer and it gets printed so easy guys all right guys so we've reached the end of today's video again just to reiterate today's video is really more about exploring the capabilities and the potential of having an entire ecosystem of devices working seamlessly together uh, again just to recap we have the laptop we also have phones today we have a speaker we have a printer we have a tablet so tons of devices all working together really creates that seamless super device experience now with that said uh, don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this if you have more questions feel free to leave them down below and definitely i hope to see all of you guys in the next one stay safe everybody bye